Hello everyone, it's me, Bo Shevasu, coming to you with one of the greatest hacks you will ever experience if you are a hiker, if you have trekking poles, if you usually go out like me and do a lot of solo hiking trips, and you wanna kinda of chronicle your adventure, maybe take some photos along the way with your smartphone, this review is for you. Now this angle that I have right here is pretty cool, huh? Because if I'm standing in front of like a valley or some wide expanse, I can hit the timer feature on this and I could stand there like this and take a photo and you can see everything behind me as opposed to holding this at arm's length, which would be about right there. And I take up a lot more of the frame. When you're out hiking, you wanna see more behind you and yet, something has plagued our society and it is called the selfie stick. You would not be caught dead taking a one of those wretched things out with you into the wilderness. However, you do take one stick out into the wilderness already and I'm gonna actually take this off of the mount that I, that I finagled right here and I'm gonna show you that it's my trekking pole. <laughs> but look at this fantastic mount that I put on the trekking pole. I'm actually gonna show you how I set this thing up so that you also can emulate what I have uh, going on right here. Now, once again, selfie sticks, there's just this stigma about them that you don't wanna be out there, you know, like one of those tourists. It's, they're just embarrassing. However, I found that I had my trekking pole with me and I would also bring out a small little tripod to set up my camera precariously on a rock, hit the timer, and then run and try to pose and, and hope that I'm actually in frame or, or I'm actually in focus. And I started thinking to myself, how cool would that be to repurpose what you already have with you, which is a trekking pole or two, and why not put a mount on there? Now this mount is actually designed for music stands. So let's say you're in church and you're in front and all the lyrics are on your smartphone, well, you just put them on your smartphone and then you put this clamp on the music stand and check this out. Then your smartphone clamps right into there. I'm simply repurposing the exact same thing and putting it on a trekking pole. Now, there is a reason why I did not put the mount on this side. You would think that it would make sense to put the mount on this side because the handle is right here, right? It's comfortable to hold. However, I want to set this and forget it. I want to put this on here and just go hiking. And this is why I put it on this side closer to the handle. It's a little awkward to hold this down here because there's no grip as you can see. And it might get kind of dusty as you're out hiking and whatnot, but for a quick, quick photo, you know what? I can hold it like out here like this and it's perfectly fine. But the reason why it's closer is because when you're hiking, the last thing you want is more weight towards the end because that's just gonna cause more fatigue. Imagine that you put ankle weights on when you're running, that's because it's on your lower extremity or, or outward extremities. And the more weight you can put towards your core, which in this case, it would be closer to here, uh, the less fatigue you're going to experience. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and get an iPhone 6S. This is of uh, the smaller iPhones. I actually tested at the start of this video my initial iPhone right there, which is much, much bigger. So yes, this clamp will in fact hold a much bigger smartphone, which is so cool. And check it out, it just pops on right like that and I can hold it out like so. And no longer do I have to precariously perch my camera up on a rock or kind of bother a passerby say, hey man, can, can you take a goofy photo of me? I, I'm a friendly kind of guy, but when you're out in the wilderness, you kind of want to let people be by themselves and not, especially not bother them with technology. I mean, the last thing I'm going to do is, you know, turn on a Bluetooth speaker and like play my music really loud or go up to them with a digital device and say, hey, can you hold this thing? And they're like, I kind of kind of came out here to escape this. So I kind of want to respect people's space. And so this allows me to check it out. How cool is that? Now let's actually break down exactly how this fits onto the, uh, uh, the, the trekking pole, okay? 
All right, it's very, very easy, very intuitive. It comes as one piece, so there's very little assembly required. There's actually a knockoff of this thing out there that they claim is designed for trekking poles. It basically screws on. It's horrible. Do not recommend that. This one, I actually put the link in the description below. And so this is what happens. So you start to unscrew it like so. And I would have put it up a little higher, but I've got some emergency duct tape that I just kind of stick on my trekking poles. And see how this kind of swings out like that. And then this clamp opens up. And that is how you can clamp it onto virtually anything. I'm, I'm really actually quite surprised. It does fit down there, but once again, lots of fatigue wagging around. Imagine how much weight is on there. You would just be like, I can't believe that that YouTube reviewer guy, Bo, said to put it on the end of this. I hate him. But up here, uh, so what you're gonna want to do is go in the right direction, so orient in the right direction, and then have this as high as possible. Again, my duct tape's in the way, so I'm gonna put it a little lower down. And you're gonna wanna have it pointing forward, not to the side or else you might hit that, not to the outside or else it might hit some brush as you're walking along, kind of clipping things, and certainly not back because then you're gonna be hitting your forearm as you're going. So you want this to be pointed straight forward, almost like it's a gun pointing forward like that. And then you simply uh, clamp it on and then turn it a few times. Certainly don't over clamp it down because usually poles are aluminum uh, or titanium if you can afford that. <laughs> you rich outdoors people, you uh, yuppies. Uh, but basically don't clamp it down all the way because you don't want to dent your trekking poles because of course they collapse into each other. <laughs> wow, did you see the dust come off of that? <coughs> I use these trekking poles a lot. Matter of fact, I use these same trekking poles back when I was 19 years old when I did some mission work in Nepal. I traveled all over Nepal selling Bibles and uh, helping people because I love God and I love people. But anyway, not meaning to preach at you here. Once it's actually in position, then you can orient it. So you do that by unclipping this little guy right here and you can rotate it to the left or rotate it to the right, or you can rotate it all the way around it like if you'd like, and then it can go down and up. I usually kind of like to orient it like this so when I'm holding it, you can't actually see the fact that you're holding a stick, as evidenced by the very beginning of this video. You probably couldn't tell that I was really holding a stick. It was just like, wow, this camera is floating in front of him. What a cool effect this is. So you could also do vlogging when you're out on the trail, uh, just you and God talking. You're just like, hey, you know what, God? A thought just came to mind. I wonder if the rest of social media is wondering about this too. And you could just walk along with your uh, selfie stick. In fact, it's a trekking pole, so there's no stigma there. You're, you're, you're free and clear to use this thing. And uh, so this is the only uh, way that I have found that, uh, uh, I mean, it's the best of both worlds. It's, it's, it's lightweight. It's somewhat minimalist for the most part. I mean, you really could be a true minimalist by not even taking a camera with you. And if you want to do that, that's okay too. It's just, just you and God out in the wilderness. But for my particular uses, I really, really actually enjoy being out there in the wilderness and uh, just just uh, being able to capture some of those moments, uh, especially when you're with other people. You can just say, hey, quick, everybody gather around and you just take a quick little photo. So I guarantee you, if, uh, if you were to have this thing out there, you are immediately gonna be having people going, where did you buy that? And just say that there's a crazy guy on YouTube named Bo Chevisu, and he will tell you how to outfit your trekking pole to make it into a selfie stick. How cool is this? Oh, I am so excited about this. Uh, and if in fact you don't want it on, you could, look, look how fast it is to take this thing off. So cool, look, 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 look. Unwind like that, open it up like that, and put it in your backpack, or put it in your water bottle holder, and then just clamp it on when the time is right. My name is Bo Chevisu, I hope that this is helpful in equipping you for more adventures and so that I can see your fantastic photos on Instagram. I hope that you're following me on Instagram, I take a lot of really cool photos out and about all over the world, including my own backyard of Enum Claw, Mount Rainier. Yes, I do love Mount Rainier tremendously. I try to summit it at least once a year, or at least attempt to summit it. Uh, we don't always succeed. We lose some people here and there, but hey, they'll always be preserved in those crevasses. I'll see them in heaven anyway, right? Okay.